Aaron, obviously not the end result you would have liked for this afternoon, but overall, when you look at this series, what do you think of your team's effort and their resolve? Um, yeah, I mean, they're again, they're they're in a really good place as far as their play, their focus. Um, you know, I feel like they're making good adjustments. Um, so, you know, disappointing to not finish it off today, but um, but I do feel very pleased with wh where this group at, is at as a mindset and bringing it every day. You look at that series in Tampa Bay, just how different does it feel, even despite the loss in that clubhouse with where you guys are at right now? Um, I don't know. I mean, look, I, I think, you know, getting some guys back in the mix and, um, you know, I, I think some guys are building some, some confidence as the season gets, you know, more and more underway, which is a good thing. Um, you know, but I think it's, you know, similar. You, you come out of that the Tampa series where they lost two out of three where, you know, some really tight games, you know, you're disappointed, but I think the group is um, is playing is playing with confidence and, and, and I think great intent, and we just got to keep that going and continue to work to get better, though, as well. You had mentioned before the game, you, not necessarily all your options there in the bullpen pretty short. You go to Albert Abreu in the fifth inning in a, in a tough spot. Do you agree with the pitch selection there, four straight change-ups? Yeah, I mean... You know, he, he 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 executed a couple really well. You know, I mean, I, I think. Like I, I I want to dive into that more. You know, I mean, uh, obviously we're aware of it right right in the moment, and kind of like was that fourth in a row. So, you know, we'll tackle that head on. Um, you know, I, I think the bigger problem is just you know not executing the pitch when you're ahead in the count, and and that's that's ultimately what what got him in trouble. back over here another home run for Volpe today he seems to really be excelling in the seventh spot um any plans to keep him there or move him back to lead off you know, what's your thinking there he's gonna excel in any spot so <laughs> no I think just a good player getting some results and uh you know I, I think gaining valuable experience in the league as well Randy I know Seve's coming back soon, but are you pretty concerned right now about the rotation with Nestor struggling a little bit, Clark having another tough outing, Brito's had some struggles? Yeah, um, I am excited about Seve coming back, certainly. Um, uh, you know, we, we got to get a little more out of, this, uh, of the rotation as a whole, no question about it. You know, Nestor, I do believe, will be fine. I think this is a, a little bump in the road, and I think he'll make his adjustments and, and get back on track. You know, Clark, I mean, obviously the line was, was, was rough today, and this is a tough lineup, I think, for him to go through. But, um, you know, he gave up a couple runs there, you know, in his first few innings, and I actually felt like he was – he was throwing the ball really well today, like, and not making a lot of mistakes. You know, that Diaz leads off with a double, a couple soft contacts. They, they score that run. Um, the other time, you know, I felt like he was managing contact, especially with some of their lefties. Um, and then, and then the, you know, the fifth is, is where it got away. You know, he, get, he gets the lead man and then Paredes, he walks, hit, hit. Bader makes a great play on a Rosa Reina and then loses low on what looked like could have been, you know, could have been strike three. But um, so <clears throat> I thought up to that point, um, you know, I, I thought he, I thought he pitched better than, than what his line was suggesting at that point, And then it got away a little bit. So we got to continue to lean in and, and get better. And um, you know, that's, that's w what we have right now. So uh, there's no lamenting it. Well, I concern myself with everything, whether it's going really well or, or we're scuffling in areas. Do you have a starter for tomorrow yet? It's listed TBA. Yeah, we'll we'll go talk about that. May call somebody up or possibly no, an opener. No, no, we'll see. Uh, to the right. Um, for this season in particular, do you feel like there's an additional weight on these division games, knowing that there are fewer of them? Like, have you guys gone into it knowing that you're not playing the Rays again now until? July, like the at the very end of July. I know, but what's the answer to it? I mean, that's I mean that's the th like. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they're division games. They're they're important just because we're in division and it's a 
win or a loss for your opponent that you're in the division with and same so i mean it's like you know i had this with randy like like we really really want to win <laughs> so I, I i don't know if we're going to try harder or less or I, I mean it's it's yeah they're important games and and we're pouring everything into it uh brendan um, was part of going to Abreu there that you wanted to avoid three or four with Marinaccio, if you could? Um, not necessarily. We were just really short down there and wasn't going to be able to get to the back end. Um, I had maybe one with Marinaccio. Um, we were just short back there today. I'll leave it at that. Clap, do you have a question? Sort of the same question that Brendan had, but you did have Marinaccio for an inning. Any temptation at that point to use Marinaccio in the fifth instead of later? Um, no, not not in that spot because I was going to have a hard time really getting to the end. And and you know as you're as you're going through that fourth inning, it's you know I don't want to go double barrel at that point in the fifth inning when when I know we're short and you know and then you can't just push a button when it's you know, the perfect situation. So I needed Albert to get through that and or or Clark to get through it, really, um, and, and try and get us through the bottom and then um, try and piece it together from there. Meredith. You don't see Matt Blake get kicked out of games often. Was it just that Walls at bat that he took exception to or was it the strike zone all afternoon? I, I think there were a couple of... of um, yeah, I, th I think there were just a couple of uh, calls, you know, that had had gotten the boil, the the uh, blood flow, blood boiling a little bit, and uh, and then I, I think the the low, the the backdoor breaking ball uh, to low, you know, kind of got everyone going. So um, yeah, that was it. 